hey guys welcome back to my channel again this is Brittany Ava Doe um, <laughs> I'm sorry guys my intros are always so random but yes yeah, so I went and I uh, I did something secret I, I have a theory about this conspiracy collection it is off the hook off the hook if you guys cannot tell by the look of my face, um, I have decked out. And these lips are definitely one you want to check out the colors of. If you want to know, stay tuned. So, let's jump right into it. As you guys seen in the title, we're going to be focusing just on the Conspiracy Collection. I have the Conspiracy Palette. I have the two mini Conspiracies. So, we're going to be diving in with the Conspiracy Palette today. And maybe a little bit of the con mini conspiracies. I'm going to take a peek into them and see if anything pops out. But yeah, so let's go right ahead. My face is done except for my eyes. And I really wanted to do my eyes on camera with you guys. Um, I have an idea what I want to do. But we're just going to achieve it together. So I'm like really, really looking at this cheese dust here. Oops, sorry guys. This cheese dust. I'm really, really looking at that. And I don't know. I'm kind of feeling something orangey today. Something vibrant. Um, I don't wear orange that often so let's go right into it and let's use this cheese dust and see where we can go um i took a peek in the minis and they have different colors than the actual full palette so we're definitely gonna be popping into those a little bit too so when i do my crease is i start in the center and then i pull in and then out when i pull it out i come up towards my my arch and then it gives me like this nice like gradient sorry guys ignore those bites i don't know what that is um gradient like crease so it gives me a little bit bigger crease if you guys hear noise in the background i'm sorry my fan is running it is extremely hot here it is 26 tomorrow is supposed to be 31 um that's in celsius not in fahrenheit and it is beautiful out. i mean i love the heat so i'm not complaining too much i just wanted to make sure you guys understood the noise was not intentional <laughs> looks like i took a cheesy and rubbed it on my face sorry it took me a minute i had to go through the palettes and find a brown um, i decided i'm going to go with diet root beer as all three of them have diet root beer i'm just going to use the one in the main palette um i'm using the palette's mirror um, I've been doing that a lot lately, just using the palette mirror itself rather than using my my hand mirrors, which I don't mind. Um, I do love my hand mirrors. Um, I have my bomb pop next to me for when it comes time for my lips. So diet root beer is just going underneath cheese dust in the crease. It's going half in the lid, but that will be taking off after. It's just to darken the crease a little bit more, just to give me more dimension. Now, I'm like looking up here at my arch area, and I'm really contemplating what I want to put there. I want to put something that's going to complement cheese dust, and I'm looking at just a theory. I'm also looking at a few other colors, so I'm going to take a second, and I'm going to decide. So I've decided I'm going to take my boyfriend's purse, which I kind of like that name. Um, from the, one of the, one of the minis, I have both minis and they both have my boyfriend's purse. So I'm just going in with the one that does not have put it back. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use my boyfriend's purse. I'm patting that into the high bone area and it's going half on cheese dust, half off. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with cheese dust after and I'm just going to go back over it. If I feel it's necessary. And my boyfriend's purse. I don't think I'm going to go back in with cheese dust yet. Maybe at the end. But I think it's okay for now. But now it's time to move on to the lid. So the lid here. As you guys can see. Like, there's some of it coming down. I'm actually going to go ahead and put some concealer on it. Get it nice and tappy. And then we're going to go in. We're going to actually do a, a nice little ombre on the lid. So what I'm doing here is what people call cut creasing. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on both 
look up. And there you go. And that's where you're just going to go ahead. And I don't actually use a lot of concealer. I just put the dabs and I just use that. And I just use a brush. And put it all in. I'm going to be using this brush here because I gave away my other brush that I normally use. And I know a lot of people use... Um, Oh, is it? I think it's Tarte, maybe. They use Shape, shape Tape is what it's called. Um, I'm using the Magic Star Concealer. Um, I find it works for me. I don't do this very often, so this works for me. Um, I'm still practicing, so I would rather use a brand that I'm familiar with. Um, and, I, and I kind of think it's more fun. So now that my lid is done, we're going to actually go ahead and pack because it's all tacky now. So we're going to go ahead and pack it in. I'm going to start on my inner corner and work my way out with the lightest colors. I'm going to go in with... I'm actually going to go in with Cry on my couch. I'm using the same brush that I just cut my crease with. And I'm going in on my inner corner. I'm actually patting right there. Pat, 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 pat it all in. I'm going in about maybe a third in. Get some more cry on my couch. And do the other eye. Again, just pat, pat, pat. This is a more neutral lid, but it will gradiently get darker because that's what I'm doing. That's what my goal is. So now I want the middle shade. And the middle shade, I'm going to do something that I'm thinking tan con. I was going to do diet root beer, but I think I'm tan con. Tan con sounds really cute. So we're going to go with tan con. I feel like this is like a tanning convention that people can go to. I've never heard of tan con, but I mean, it does not surprise me either. So tan con goes in the dead center. <laughs> The outer one is going to be the darkest shade, and I have decided I've come to my verdict. It's going to be spiraling. Oh my gosh, get that on camera. So spiraling is this nice dark shade. You can kind of tell like the lines in between, but what I'm actually doing here is I'm actually just putting them on and I'm going to blend them after. I'm pulling spiraling over into the crease just to give it a little bit more definition and I'm gonna go back in with cheese dust I feel on top of everything just some help so I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush grab some more cheese dust just a smidgen just a smidgen and I'm gonna go over my crease again where spiraling is gonna darken darken gonna cheesy that up again to the other side get some more cheese dust this is not a normal look I normally do I normally don't do orange nudes yes but orange no so this is quite different I'm kind of liking it um, I'm not a fan of the inner corner so I'm gonna go in again and retouch that up but before I make any decisions I do want to blend no I didn't made my probably blind I'm going to go in Sorry guys, I'm so indecisive today. I'm gonna go in with just a theory. I'm in a corner. Just because I find that Cry My Couch is really cute. Um, just it's not for this look. This look is big, exotic, exotic, exaggerated drama. I am will be doing my under eye after, but right now we're gonna blend the the top lid. And I'm using this weird, funky brush that I think would make a great little blending brush. So, just blending my edges between the, t the colors. Just slowly pulling everything. You know, just cash. Kind of making it a little muddy, but it's kind of cute. I like this eye more than this eye for some reason. Tancom like really took over and like really 
wanted the show, but I'm going to take Spiraling. And I'm actually going to pull her in and make her a little bit softer. See, I like that better. I know it doesn't look like much on camera, but in person, it looks a lot better to me. Now we're going to do the under eye. The under eye I'm going to be using. This tiny little brush. Um, the under... Oh, I think I just literally found my under eye color. Um, let me do that one color too. I think I'm going to go with my under eye. I want to do like a pop into my under eye. I think I'm going to take some Flaming Hot. And maybe some Trisha. Pygmy looks really cute, but I'm, think I'm thinking Flaming Hot and Trisha are going to be my two colors. Definitely going with Flaming Hot because, I mean, it's Flaming Hot. Really cute. Oh my gosh. Yes, hunty. That is sexy. I'm sorry. That is sexy. Um, I love this color. My new thing is like, it's a neutral top lid. And my under eye is like popping. I'm gonna take some Trisha. I've decided I'm gonna take a little bit of Trisha. I'm gonna put her in my inner corner. Uh, God, <laughs> I love pink, and this is like my like. Oh my God, pink. And then I'm gonna do a liner on top. Um, I feel like I'm gonna go on, on top of Trisha with Flaming Hot, though. Trisha's, like, very powerful, very strong. And I mean, so is Trisha. The Trisha that they're referring to is Trisha Paeta, I think her name is. Um, and she is, I think she's a doll. She is the cutest little plus-size Barbie. Like, she is amazing. Um, yeah, she's a little wild, but, I mean, we all deserve a little wild side. So, I'm going to jump off camera. I'm going to do my liner real quick, and then I'm going to throw some mascara on. We're going to come back, and we're going to do my lips. I just, I already know what I'm going to do for my lips, um, because I really wanted to. So, we're going to be right back, and we'll do that together. Hey, guys, I'm back, so it's time to do the lips. Um, so I threw my liner on and some mascara. Um, it really looks much better to me. Um, but for the lips, I've decided I'm going to use my two exclusives that I got from my summer collection. I'm actually going to use both, yes. So we're going to be using both of them. So this is both. This one right here will be the base. And this one is Star Ranch. And this one is Yak. I'm just going to say Yak. But yeah, so this one right here is like the Star Ranch symbol, so we're going to call it Star Ranch. Um, this one's going to be the base, and then in the middle is going to be my yak. So first we shake them. I know a lot of people are like chewing out this mystery color. They're like, it looks so much like this color, so much like that color. You know what? I'm grateful. I've got an exclusive. So the first color's on. I'm just going to let her dry a little bit before I start... Applying the second color on top to make the little ombre. Now we're going in with that rack. I'm actually with that rack. That yak. I'm actually gonna shake her up. Such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. <laughs> like how it gives me that pout, like that nice like pout that I've always wanted, and it complements really well. Um, will I put a gloss over this? Maybe. Um, glosses are more from like my everyday use. If I'm not wearing makeup that day, or if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, or I'm not wearing any lip products, um, it's just because the glosses, I, I usually have to apply it a couple times a day, if not more. But this is going to be my look for today. I did blend my face already. Everything snatched. This is my final look. I know it doesn't look, look perfect, but I mean, it looks good enough to me. Um, I enjoy it. I think I look good. I love the hot, hot flaming or flaming hot and Trisha, um, on, underneath. And I love that I have a very neutral eye on top. And that's just what I'm going for recently. I'm not sure why I'm doing this. Um, it's just something I've started and I'm like, oh, I kind of like that. So it could change again. Like this is all, makeup's just 
just like fashion we have fads we have trends we have it all and so i'm gonna jump off camera get ready for my day and i will be right back hey guys i'm back so i've decided i'm gonna put a tiny little bit of gloss on there just because i want to tie it all together so i've got a little pink gloss here this one is called crystal kiss sorry i thought i had shockwave for a minute um crystal kiss so we're gonna actually go ahead and we're gonna put her on to my scrunchie off because i don't really need that right now and we're gonna go ahead with crystal kiss this is i believe from one of his first collections maybe his originals there we go that's all i want to do is just give it a little sparkle just to tie it all together make my pout a little bit bigger but yes yeah, so this is my final look today um I think I'm looking really cute today. I do work, so um, it's just a casual fit day for clothes. I'm nothing fancy, but I really wanted to spice things up today and do something different. Um, I am probably going to do another look like this. Um, not the exact same color or anything like that, but I definitely do need to dig deeper into my palettes. Um, I'm overdue on going back to make cremated really badly. Um, so I might do another cremated 2.0 and do like my actual full white, white and black face, like a grayscale. Um, I do have my blood money collection that I need to dip into. So there's lots of videos to come. Plus we have that crazy video coming soon where I'm going to take my entire lipstick collection and do an entire look. Um, am I looking forward to that? No. Is it going to be a struggle? Oh yeah. But that's what i'm here for i'm here to entertain you um and have fun with myself like that's just i find it fun like yes i'm i'm saying jokingly i'm not looking forward to it honestly i am i think it's gonna be a lot of fun um it's going to be a lot of <laughs> hiccups and and laughs and stuff along the way but it's gonna be a lot of fun um but again thank you guys so much for liking and following me on all my social medias i like when i hear back from you guys and hear all of you guys' compliments and tell me what you guys want to see what you guys want to hear anything like, and, oh my god i'm tongue tied i'm sorry anything like that i'm here to entertain you i'm here to talk with you i'm here to just be out there and show the world it's okay to be different it's okay to be weird um it's okay to like pink blue green black aquamarine whatever you want life is a one-time chance it's not a game where you get to hit reset and start all over you get one chance and you might as well enjoy it on that note y'all i'm heading off to work now and i'm hoping you guys have a splendid week i love you